everyone and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making um, pancakes not from a mix. These are so good and it comes together so fast that you don't need a mix. The only thing you need to do is you need to start with three quarter cup of milk and two tablespoons of white vinegar. You want to put that white vinegar into your milk and we're going to curdle it or sour it. That's going to give us the fluffiness of the pancakes that they'll be real light and airy. So we're going to let this sit for about five minutes. You'll see it curdling um, and then you'll know it's ready. So next off, let's start our dry ingredients. So <clears throat> I need one cup of all purpose flour. Two tablespoons of sugar. teaspoon of baking powder a half a teaspoon of baking soda Half a teaspoon of salt. And we're going to whisk that. Okay. Now I'm just waiting for the milk to curdle. That'll take about five minutes. So while we're waiting for the milk to curdle, Please subscribe down below. This helps us grow our YouTube channel and we can bring more content to you. So please like and share and subscribe, okay? All right, so I have two tablespoons of melted butter here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into our milk. I let it cool just a little bit. And then we're going to add our egg. And we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to whisk that together. You just want to make sure that your milk looks curdled or like looks like it's it's bad, like it has um, chunks in it. That's what you want. Okay, so now we're going to add our liquid to our dry. Very simple. Just whisk it together. And you're just going to whisk it until it's smooth. Okay. All right, now we're ready to start our pancakes. I have a griddle here. If you don't have a griddle, just use a, a, a fry pan or whatever you use to make pancakes. But uh, make sure you spray the first round at least with some Pam or maybe some butter if you're using a, um, a Pam. All right, and we're just gonna put these on like you normally do pancakes and let them go. I have it set at 350. It might need to be turned down, I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes with the pancakes. Okay, now we're gonna let them go. And as soon as we see bubbles starting on top of the um, pancake, that's when we know we turn it, okay? Alright, so when you're ready to turn them, see all these little bubbles and how it's kind of drying out around the edges? That's what you're looking for to flip it. While these are cooking too, um, you might want to like turn them on the same side, kind of like just kind of go around like that so all the sides are nice and brown on, on them because sometimes these griddles 
cook hotter on one side than the other. So let's check our pancakes. Oh, this is perfect. This is beautiful. That's what you want to see. That's beautiful. Now you want to make sure they're done in the middle, so don't cook them too high. Okay. Now I'm just going to continue. I always spray in between mine because I like a little bit of a crisp on the edge. Okay. And I'm just using an ice cream scooper. You can use a ladle. You can just pour from the bowl if you'd like. I like mine to all be kind of the same size so they cook all at the same time. So here's our finished product. Now remember, you can make pancakes from scratch really quick. You don't need all those preservatives in those other boxes. Um, and you're serving your family a good healthy meal here. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.